Coming up on 716 on a cloudy good Friday. Bob Sador is here. Yes, sir. It's Friday. Well, rain and thunder and hail and power's out on the other side, of it, but it's back on again by us again, just as I was. So you're lucky because I didn't look nearly like this. It took me or, 30 right minutes to unplug <laughs> everything. I told oh. my son I'm going to unplug my audio mixer and all my tape decks and all the computers. I don't want anything getting hit by lightning last yeah. night. So. Yeah. It was, uh, it was a pretty good storm. It was, yeah. it was good to see because you could see, you know, big distance from up there and to see mm. the lightning, how impressive it is when it goes across the sky to see how many miles it is when it goes across is uh, really pretty cool. So I knew there was a reason I liked that spot. <laughs> My honey's got good taste, not in me, but in, in, in being able to pick places like that. She did, do, she did very well. Uh, a very interesting week this week. I'm uh, seeing Bob and Linda's Z team signs we, we, all over. There's, there's signs that are that are here and there and everywhere, and uh, but it's you know to think that you can just kind of roll into this and oh boy, I'm gonna you know go and sell houses that they're just falling in. This is like a real job. This is a real job. I mean, we haven't had a Sunday off, I don't think, since the first of the year. You know, Linda was trying to get some gardening done, and people call, and, you know, you got to, the bell rings, you got to answer. And uh, so it's not just, you know, ride people around and collect a big fat check as has been uh, attributed to somebody. You know, this is a real job, you know, and it's a full time and a half where you're out there, we're sitting watching TV, we tape everything because you need to mm-hmm. tape everything. We digitally record everything. How old are you I now? Do. Yeah, I know. That's <laughs> a true mark of a dinosaur. We tape everything. Uh, but, uh, you know, we, we, we digitally record everything so that because you'll be watching something and the phone will ring or somebody will mm-hmm. need an email sent and, <clears> and you'll be able to help our people and get that information out to them. You have to be able to respond and that's, you know, it. it's that as easy as it may seem from time to time as we talk about, oh, we sold this or we helped somebody with that. Um, so it's just a, we're out there working for our people, and, and that's the big thing. That's uh, We've helped some people this week. We uh, closed the house yesterday. Um, a lovely woman who's going to be moving up here and moving in. She'll be closer to her son, and it's going to be a great thing. We're able to help the people that live there move on with their life. And that's what it is. I mean, there's two stories in each one of these deals that get done. You know, you've got uh, people who are trying to go back to kids or, or the mm-hmm. husband got transferred or whatever it may be. And you're <clears> able <throat> to help them do that and then help a new person start their life here. And I, I pulled this stuff from 14 and 15 on a, on a year over year. From 2014, from April 2nd, 2014 to April 2nd, 2015. There's been 885 homes sold. Okay, say that one more time. Uh, from year to year, from April 2nd of 14 okay. to April 2nd yesterday yeah. of 15, there's been 885 homes sold for $106 million. Now, the same period from two, April 2nd of 13 to 14, so the same year period, year to year, it was 766 homes sold for $92 million. That's 119 more homes have sold last year and over $13 million more in sales. So there's the, that 119 more people that are living here that are able to uh, participate in the community, that are able to buy uh, furniture and carpeting and advertising on the radio because they opened up a, a little business whether it's cutting grass to washing houses to there's, there's so many entrepreneurs here. When you look and you see the trucks driving by the pickup trucks and the different signs on the door and stuff like that, the opportunity is so great here to be able to start your own. Everybody comes here and starts uh, starting a new life because we are all something someplace else. And you come here and you start from scratch and, and there's no real hierarchy here. Like there is, if you, for those of you that have been here, I think there is. But for those of us that come here, there really isn't. You know, so yeah. it doesn't matter if you're a retired admiral, or you were a car salesman, or you were a plumber someplace. I mean, everybody starts from square one when they come here, and that's a a great thing. It really is. Uh, but there's there's tremendous opportunities here for people. 
not necessarily for kids getting out of school. That's one of the issues. But they're they're trying to do some stuff like their welding uh, mm-hmm. facility yep. that's up mm-hmm. there where uh, in Ultimate's building. Yep, uh, that <clears> type of thing is that's all those things help a, a lot. You know, that'll help to keep some of the kids here and allow them to start to raise a family. Uh, young men, young families like yourselves that are just uh, it can be a struggle. I know. Did you happen to tune in the day when the mayor was here with Billy D. Austin? No. Did you hear about what was going on? There is, uh, you know, right where the new Harps is at? Yeah. <clears throat> right across the highway, basically behind uh, the Christian church over mm-hmm. there. They've donated that property, 42.6 40, acres. Yeah, okay. They're going to develop a four-field softball complex yeah. right there. No, that's yeah. going to, and I told the mayor, I said, my goodness, that's going to open up so much more opportunity for jobs and other people to move into the community. Well, it'll, it'll, it's not that it's going to be a day-to-day thing, but it brings those tournaments in that's still going to bring the visitors say, hey, we kind of like it'll it bring here. Biz- and it'll bring business <clears throat> into the local restaurants and hotels and everything else. I mean, that, yeah. Oh, yeah, that West End will start to go. I mean, it's it's ready. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it, it's just it's a, a great I, you know, and I say this all the time, you know, what a great place it is. And But we help people to move on. We help people to move in. You know what I mean? And that's really what it's all about. Uh, we're looking for some exit. We're looking for, if you're sitting and thinking that it's, you know, th- I don't really don't want to cut this five acres this summer. I've cut it enough, and I, maybe we should be looking for something in town. Uh, we've got a number of people that are looking for that five to ten acre, you know, not out but not too far out. And if you're in that situation and you're thinking, you know what, I'm not going to cut this anymore. We're going to find something a little closer to town, you know, maybe a half acre or something in town because mm-hmm. we're traveling to the doctor a little more than we may like to. Uh, give us a call and uh, let us come out and take a look and see if we can help you to downsize yourself and get you into something a little more manageable that uh, help both health-wise and financially may make it a little better for you to, to do that. But this week, there were 62 new listings came on, uh, 17 parcels of land and two commercial properties. 45 homes came on the market, and they came on in a range of 40000 to 969000 uh, The average price coming on the market was 159000 There were 26 sales, uh, six parcels of land, and 20 homes sold. The homes sold in a range of 14000 to 285000 So the average sale price was $115,000. Uh, the average listed price when they came on was 127,000, uh, 237 days on market. And I think we're going to start to see the days on market ticking up because they changed the way they put the days on market into the system. So I think we make it a little truer picture of how long some of these are on here instead of being able to just, uh, some people take and they'll, they'll run like six month listings so that they don't have days on market. Well, there's a history box in there and the agents can see Mm-hmm. how long it's actually been on. So I think it's kind of self-defeating, but that's my two cents. There's still 69 pending. 50 of them are houses, and that's a, that's a good number. 37 properties expired um, for whatever reason. Uh, 30 had price changes, which is always a good thing. I mean, of these of these 100 and extra 119 houses that sold, they sold because they were priced right. They sold because they were clean and ready to go. Uh, after a storm like happened last night, a good seller is going to be out there raking and cleaning the place up so that when that buyer drives down that driveway or pulls in, the place looks good because that, you know, you get one chance to make a good first impression. And that's so very, very important in the real estate business because you've got a lot of choices. There's 903 homes on the MLS. Not everyone fits into every little window you know little cube that where people are looking for but there's a lot of choices out there and in and, and, and a variety of price points so people come i gotta have this this and this and then they realize that okay maybe I, we can probably settle with this and this and we'll let go of that because it's yeah. just not here that's the other part we, we're a smaller market we're not chicago dallas pick a, a big big city where you've got you know thousands of homes on the market to pick from uh, our 900 that covers an area from up into Missouri all the way down into Searcy and you know Ash Flat whatever it may be so uh, there's they're limited in, in that respect but there's a lot of houses out there for this in this area we got uh, 401 in Mountain Home 54 in Bolt Shoals 58 in Lakeview 10 in Cotter uh, year to date the sales for 2014 there's been 160 sales 
for seventeen point eight million. And uh, or excuse me, that was for fourteen. It was one hundred sixty sales for seventeen point eight. For two thousand and fifteen, for this year, it's been one hundred eighty three sales for twenty million. One hundred eighty three. So we've already sold twenty three more homes. Three ninety four days in the year. Yeah, yeah. We've already sold uh, thirty seven odd homes. You know. And it's a matter of um, <clears throat> things are, like I say, are picking up, but they're not. Um, there's a reason that they pick up. It's it's a part of it is being ready to be sold and being priced correctly. When we come out, you know, we when we tell you this is what the house is going to sell for, it's going to sell right in that range. I mean, I may be off by a little, but we're, we're not off by a lot because because I do this every week. And, and, you know, and I, and I pay attention to these things. We're out, we're, we're marketing, we're out, we're looking at houses. We're in, we're in a lot of houses. And when we go and we see yours, and, and everyone's house is unique, and everyone's house is special. I understand that. You put a lot of work into it, you put a lot of effort into it. Sometimes people have effort or work in there that wasn't really necessary or was overdone sometimes, and you're not, you've dealt, you did that for you. You didn't do that to sell the home. You did that because that was something that you wanted in your home. So to try to explain that to people can sometimes be uh, be a difficult uh, thing where they don't want to go, oh, really? Uh, but but the, all these sales, I mean, it's a result of a seller hiring a professional realtor. Yep. And, and that's really the deal. You know, you see for sale by owners pop up, God bless them. It's, some people can do it. But they have, when we talk to people that have been for sale by owners and, oh, yeah, we had, uh, you know, 15 people to look. Anybody put an offer in? Well, no. Well, do you know if they were qualified at all? Do you know that they were able, <laughs> if they were just coming through case in your house or, you know, just nosy neighbors? Oh, I don't, you know, I mean, we're not invincible, but we can help you with the process. That's what we do. I mean, it's that, it, this is what we do. We're professionals at this and we're pretty proficient the awards well. prove that well yep we do okay yes, location do. phone number uh location we're, we're at the main office across the street from mcdonald's in the chamber of commerce uh 62 but the best way to get a hold of us is call my honey she's at 870-405-0793 go on the web page retire to arkansas.net you can send us an email and say hey we're looking for this or hey we've got this and uh we like to sell and move on with our life Bob and Linda Zadora, the Z-Team, Century 21, Lee Mac Real Estate, for all your real estate needs, 870-405-0793. Time for the news. Be right back.